you had a secret marriage that no one um, sort of knew about even on the set at a because lunch break. I, I, Is that I, I, true? I, because I don't believe in fanfare in some things. Like, even though you're the biggest no, show man, No, no, like, no. I think your personal affairs, which are affairs of a heart are very, very personal. We never threw a party. The party was between two hearts that loved each other. I promised that I promised that a trip abroad. We went abroad. We went to Switzerland. We went all over the world. We came back. I'm not decrying marriage ceremonies, but again, a huge marriage ceremony. You're spending millions and millions of rupees for a certain moment, and everybody's happy, they're going gaga, and they talk about it. And I've also heard about the same marriage falling flat, going into pieces after seven days. So it is there. It, it happens all the time. How did you so, keep your marriage so intact then? Um... Because marriage is a personal affair. Marriage is between two people. And two people, when they're in love, they're very, 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 very tremendously privately private. Yes. But how were you never tempted with all these beautiful women all around you? How do you always, know? How do you know? Who were in love with you? I don't no. know. I try to know. Look, everybody loves, but sometimes you love with responsibility and sometimes you love with helvetity. That's what happens. Makes a difference. You've got to love people to be able to take them on a certain plane of great performance. So did That's you fall so in love with all, the, all your leading women? Is no. If, if, yeah, you love from that point of view, but there's different between infatuation and love. I think when I'm working on the sets and I have my cast in front of me, my mind say, my God, she's beautiful, he's marvelous, she's handsome. I must feel that way. I must fall in love with her. Otherwise, I will not be able to do justice to, 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 to their promotion and to their performances. So who out of all your actresses would you say that you fell most in love or infatuation with at that time? Almost everybody. <laughs> yes. I have no hesitation in saying so. In a very beautiful way. In a very fragrant way. Like smell of roses. Yes, certainly. Each young girl, every young pretty girl, every young handsome boy, they are marvelous. The youth is beautiful. And I think when, you, when you're tackling with youth in a, in a great medium like the movies, oh my God, it's, it's all love affair. It's a love affair with the movies. But were no. you ever possessive about them? Because a lot of them, let's say, for instance, like Zina Taman was your discovery. You know, were you ever possessive about them? Like, say, Mr. Raj Kapoor was about his leading I was. ladies. Then, I was. It's very natural. I'm a human being. I'm not an angel. I discovered her and she let her let herself be discovered by me and she, she became a cult figure and I was planning a great, great, great movie about with her again and until that time I discovered there was a secret. She went to meet Raj Kapoor professionally. Nothing wrong with it. But the, 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 the jealous man in me revolted, which I regretted later for a split second. And I closed my eyes, I said, my God, doesn't matter. There's another milestone. Proceed. And I proceeded. That's Devanand. There's a difference. There's a man who goes on and on, leaving milestone behind. And there's a man who says, my God, this is an upset. This is, this is defeating. And I don't think I can move further from this. He commits a suicide. There's a difference between that man and Devanand. I'm very positive, very optimistic. I think the world is full of smiles, is full of laughter, should go with it.